interpreting and preparing an HMBC NMR spectrum for characterization in the Donahue and Pigs of Research groups. Pulling up this folder in Topspin, we can see that we've previously addressed looking at 20 experiments ending in 0 to 4. As a reminder, 0, so the experiments ending in 0, and say ZG30, our proton NMR spectrum, experiments ending in 1 to 3, and saying various different ones are the carbon NMR spectrum, experiments ending in 4 are the HSQC, and experiments ending in 5 are the HMBC. Double click, double click to open, and we can see that it has automatically pulled in the correct spectrum. If it does not automatically pull in the correct spectrum, so these peaks look really broad and this spectrum doesn't look what you know your actual proton NMR spectrum to look like, you can right click external projection and set the number correctly. HMBC shows the correlations for protons to carbons that are two to three bond lengths away. It does not show direct attachment as nice single dots. So if we zoom in on this peak set here, zoom out so that these dots are a bit smaller, we can see that it has a nice dot here and a nice dot here, meaning that the protons for this signal are two to three bond lengths away from the carbons that are producing these two signals. This double pair of dots is for direct attachment. For example, to explain what I mean, if you go to this little pink and blue multiple display, you can stack your HMBC with your HSQC. Assuming it was auto, pro it was processed correctly. If you ever need to pull up a second one, display a new window. XFB, hit OK. It's now processed correctly. We can close and go back to our other spectrum. So, as I was trying to stack, we can now stack this, and you can see that the dots for this line up with these two. HSQC, as we've covered previously, shows direct attachment. So this pink dot means that this proton is signal is directly attached to this carbon. This double dot, which may not always appear, means the same thing. Leaving this mode, we can go back to our just raw HMBC, and we can zoom all the way out. Note that sometimes you don't always have all the peaks appear. So what you want is just nice shaped signals. Generally, when you start getting peaks that look like these little dots right here, where they don't actually line up with any carbon, you've zoomed in too far. You can click and unclick these to change their scale. So if you click this and then use your mouse wheel, you'll scroll up or out and then unclick to s continue at zooming in on your spectrum. Going back to A to full view. We don't really want those little dots we have to appear, so we'll zoom out one more notch on the scroll wheel. And this looks pretty good. Pretty large spots for the solvent, but that's okay. From here, you can go to print. Make sure that these two are set correctly. And for this one, you are looking for 13C HMBC and hit OK. Pull up the spectrum. You can see we've got a nice looking spectrum here. The spots are a little small. We want them bigger. So we can use this click and drag, just as we did in the HSQC, to change their scale. So we want this spot, these two spots to show up. So this looks fairly good. We will close. And from here, it is the same as it was for the HSQC, where we export notebook number, 
space HMBC and hit save and OK. If you would like to zoom in so that you could perhaps see, well, I know that these line up with these peaks right here, line up with one of these four peaks, but I can't quite see. What you can do is you can click the edit and you can say, okay, so I'm going to want to zoom from, instead of going all the way out to 10, let's say we only want to view this proton spectra up to 3.5. So you will change this number 10 to 3.5 and hit apply. And you can see it's now zoomed in. Now, if these are really the peaks of interest, we really only want to view up to 60 in the carbon. So X, as a reminder, is your proton spectrum, Y is your carbon, so instead of all the way out to 200, we just want 60 and hit apply. Now you have a bit better clear view of, okay, these two signals, proton and MR signals, see this carbon, this one sees this one, not the one below it, and so, f and this one, and right here, sees both this and this one, and you can hit okay, and then print it out as you wish. To undo this zoom, the fastest way to do it is just hit Control Z, and it'll bring you back. As a reminder, when you're done and closing, you do not save changes to the template. Period. This concludes the NMR integrating and looking at the NMR spectrum for an HMBC.